Welcome, everybody, to a brand new episode of Full Metal Triv Trivia Singles Edition. Once again, we are in round number two of the Race to the Championship tournament that we have on right now. I, of course, am Sandy the Sandman Robinson, and I, I guess what I say now is I can't do this alone, but uh, but I can't do this alone. I got somebody special for you guys, and here he is. It's Jeremy the Adam Adams. Jeremy, my buddy, my best friend. How you doing? I'm doing well, Sandy. It's I know it's been a while. I've been kind of out of things. And, uh, you know, you asked me to host and I was like, hey, I can't turn down a friend. So i um, dipping my toes back in the water here. And, uh, yeah, of course, you know, it's interesting for me to see these guys go for the singles championship because some guy, you know, held it before. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Not some guy. The title that everybody <laughs> is fighting for was uh, this guy's uh, title uh, before he retired to concentrate full time on the Schmodown writing, which he's doing a great job at. Okay. Uh, Jeremy, I also like the face. I mean, I you, <laughs> last time we were on, I had the hair and you were clean face. And now we've just sort of reversed some, roles. Somehow <laughs> I psychically knew you were going to share yours <laughs> yeah you were going to shave yours so i i had to split yeah the that's right well we got a <laughs> we got a really good match here like i said we are in round number two and we have ryan permison versus joseph all of us in this one um ryan had a ridiculously good performance in his first round uh and so did joseph i mean this could go any way what do you think you know both of these uh, both these people i do thankfully you know i i come back to a match months later and it's two guys that I am familiar with two guys that I've been a fan of, you know, for so long in these, in these leagues. And uh, I, yeah, I'm really excited to see, uh, you know, I played Joseph in a, in a title match once. Uh, I think he is, you know, so talented and not someone you could ever look past. Um, just, uh, you know, a really dedicated player, but Ryan, I I've never met another player in this community that has his drive and his commitment and the guy, you know, he's never slowed down or let himself be discouraged. He's always continued, uh, to one day get a belt and this he's there, he's on the road. And I know both these guys want that and they're going to fight it out to the best ability tonight. So, you know, I don't know. I, I, like you said, it could go either way here. Absolutely. You hit it right on the on the head with that one. But I think we should probably get some of these guys in here so we can start this match. All right. Introducing first. He is one half of the full metal tag champions of the world. He has a strength of Oscar winners. He is Joseph. The algorithm Olivas. Hey guys. And hey, I graduated <laughs> college. Yes. Congrats. <laughs> and his opponent coming in with a strength of 90s comic book movies. He is the quote Ryan Permison. All right, guys, welcome to this match, and congrats to getting into round number two. Good luck to both of you. Jeremy, do you want to read the rules? I got it. Round one works uh, like pretty much most competitions that we have. Every competitor gets uh, eight questions from eight different categories for each question. They have 15 seconds to write an answer down. After time is up, they will show and say what they wrote. Correct answer is worth one point. There's no penalty uh, deducted for missing a question. And if a competitor answers all eight questions correctly, they'll receive a bonus question. Absolutely. Also, competitors, you do have three repeats and one challenge. Use them wisely throughout the match. Jeremy, I was looking over the questions. Do you mind if I take the, uh, the odd questions? Absolutely. All righty. Here we go, guys. Good luck. All right. Before we begin... Let's have a game, Ryan. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Good luck to you as well. Let's have a great match, entertain the Thank fans, you. and electrify. Let's do this thing. Awesome. Question number one comes in the category of recent releases. What recent release centers around the sporting event called Le Mans? And that is not the man's. 
<laughs> My French knowledge coming right out. I'm glad that your your Canadian French knowledge gives you the pronunciation because I wasn't hundred percent sure if I said it. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, and one. Pens down. We are going to start with Joseph. I did not know the answer, so I was trying to write the rhythm section. And Ryan. Ford v. Ferrari. Ford v. Oh, Ferrari no! is correct. And Ryan comes out to the early lead. Little little KG saying with the name, the type the name of the competition, but not the type of competition you have to, to know there. So uh, second question, like guys. Too, man. Second question <laughs> is in one of my favorite categories, not Sandy's horror thriller. And it is in the film Scream. What kind of store does the character Randy work at? You know, the one horror franchise that I've seen every movie to uh, tortured myself to watch them all. And I would have known this answer has now. Crap. <laughs> You can't oh, tell uh, me you don't you don't like the Scream movies at least a little, Sandy. Those movies are fun. First one is okay. But the five, <laughs> four, three, two. And one pens down. All the rest suck. Uh, let's go to Ryan first. <laughs> uh, I took a guess. A video store. And Joseph? I also said video store. It is absolutely a video store. How do you think oh, nice. he knows all about the horror movies? They just had to uh, remember who Randy was. I'm that's glad right. he did. Exactly. <laughs> all right, guys. Your third question in the category of comedy. What position of government does Gene Hackman's character have in The Birdcage? Going to be honest with you, this is one that I, I might have labored over a little bit of, of looking over the round one questions. Nice Actually, to get those those ones that can trip you up a little there, but uh, I'm guessing you had this one, though, Andy. I love this movie, yeah. So, yeah. And... Have you seen the original? No, I have not yet. I've yeah, actually seen the original. I've not seen this movie four, yet. Ah. Three. Original's great. Two. One. Pens down. Joseph, we're coming back to you. Is he a senator? And uh, Ryan. Uh, I also said senator. And you are <laughs> both correct. Good nice job, Nice polls, guys. guys. Nice yep. polls. All right. Your fourth question, guys, comes in the category of sci-fi fantasy. And it is. In the film Stardust... Who plays Yvain, the woman who is a star that fell from the sky? Big fan of this movie. Have you seen this one, Sandy? Yeah, it's, oh, it's, yeah. uh, I think it's, it's almost on par with The Princess Bride. Like they're going toward that tone, and I think they did yeah. really well. I'm going to, I'm going to agree with you that one and start with a five, four, three, two, and one, sorry, I've got a fuzz on my screen. All right, we're going to go over to Ryan. Ryan, what'd you have? Uh, I took a guess. Claire Danes. And Joseph. I knew Michelle Pfeiffer was in it, but I wasn't confident in that being the answer. Claire Danes is the correct answer. Wow. But yes, Michelle Pfeiffer is in it. So Yeah, it is. she is in the <laughs> I remember her. I just, yeah, I just want to remember the other female characters. All right, guys, you guys are doing great so far. We're halfway through. Question number five is in biopics. In what biopic will you find a cartoonist for the San Francisco Chronicle named Robert Graysmith? I'm restraining myself from saying anything here. And I'll be 100% honest, as everybody else is, I have yet to see this movie. I know. Mm -hmm. I know. Since he gave that away, I'll say I'm a big fan of it. But I, I hopefully that doesn't give away anything. <laughs> um, in the sheer amount of movies that I haven't seen, they start at <laughs> five, four, three, two, and one. And those are in the hundreds of movies that I have yet to see. And since he's uh, finished the count, it's my favorite film from this director. Nice. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go to we're gonna go to Joseph first. Joseph. Tied with Social Network with my favorite for David mm. Fincher, Zodiac. And Ryan. 
No, I went the other direction. I said wag the dog. Ooh. Zodiac is the correct answer. No perfect rounds this time, but we got a game on our hands. I'll tell you that. We do. Joseph's creeping closer. All right. I think you got the next one. Um, no, it's oh, that's... it's me, it's me, it's me. Yeah, yeah. Non-US <laughs> films, my wonderful category that I put into the into the the game a long time ago. The French film The Tall Blonde Man with One Black Shoe was remade into what Tom Hanks movie? It's a really hey. long title. Because because it's my kind of my thing. I, I have to give kudos to the question writers on this one. This is a great question. <laughs> Much admiration. <laughs> All right, we're gonna give you five, four, three, two. One, and we're going to start with Ryan. No idea. You've got mail. And Joseph. Is it the man with one red shoe? That would be the correct answer. And we have a tie game. Are tied. Good Lord. You Good pull, it. man. With two questions oh, yeah. left in this round, it couldn't be closer. <sighs> Your next question is question number seven, and it is in drama. Who plays Holly Wood in Cool World? I love this movie. Mm. One of my favorite directors, Ralph Bakshi. Not not one of his best movies, in my opinion, but yeah, still, you know, still kind of fun, I guess. All right, I'm going to start the count in five, four, three. Two and one. Let's start with Joseph this time. Joseph, what'd you have? Is it Vicky Vale, Kim Basinger? And Ryan. I have no idea. I said Burt Reynolds. <laughs> and taking the lead is Joseph. Kim Jeez. Basinger is the correct answer. It couldn't have been anybody else. And she never was animated in that movie, too. Jeez. I never animated heard of that was. movie. Never heard of that movie. Uh, that's some primo early 90s movies there. All right. Your last category, guys, is in another one that I helped put into the full metal that I love, Plot Summary. And your question is, name this movie. Set in 1954, an up-and-coming U.S. Marshal is sent to an island hospital for the criminally insane to search for an escaped convict when a hurricane shuts off any communication and he slowly begins to doubt his very own sanity. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Ryan, what did you have? Took a guess. Shutter Island. And Joseph. I also said Shutter Island. Good way to end the round. Shutter Island is the correct answer. Awesome work, you guys. We are going to take nice. a very, very short time out while we do some score calculations. We will be right back. All right, everybody. We are back. And after a real quick score calculation, we have Joseph with six points and Ryan with five points. It is anybody's game so far as we enter round number two. Jeremy, hit him with them rules. All right, guys. The leading competitor will decide to go first or second. The player going first will bet on either red or black. Then the wheel will be spun and will land on either a category or a color. If the color is spun, the competitor with the corresponding color will choose a category for themselves or their opponent. If a category is spun, the competitor can choose to take it or respin. If they respin, they will have to stick with whatever category the wheel lands on. From the category, the competitor will receive four questions worth two points each. Multiple choice is available, reducing the point value to one. Opponents can steal the points available if the question is answered incorrectly. Absolutely. And your categories for this round are action adventure. <laughs> Mr. Hand, Sean Penn. Love, Andrew. These hallowed halls, movies set in college. I mean, that's brought up in this specific game with me. <laughs> <laughs> 1989 films. Previously on Deep Cuts. 
<laughs> Scores and soundtracks. Sports. Robert Zemeckis. It's a dog on category. Movies about dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Classics. Oscar winners is Joseph Strength and 90s comic book movies is Ryan Strength and the aforementioned Red and Black. Joseph, you hold a one point lead over Ryan. You can choose to go first or second. Let's go second. All right. Second. So, Ryan, you're going to go. First, and what color would you like? Wise man say, always bet on black, so I'm going with black. All righty. Yay, I have a red marker for red. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I have the wheel primed here for Ryan's first roll. Ryan, our... All right, come on. There we go. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Let's spin the wheel. All right, here we go. Wow. I always find that the little button that you have to push doesn't really do a good job. Mm. 90s comic book oh. movies. <laughs> oh. I don't know, Ryan, are you going to take this category or would you like to respin? <sighs> Man, not, man, that sounds kind of tempting, but no, I'm not going to respin. I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to stick with it. All right. I will read these ones. Wow. That is something. Right. That, that is, is something. Very, very something. That is something. You almost hit black, too, and you just squirted by the next category and got right to what you needed. Jeez. <laughs> but isn't there still black? <laughs> <laughs> that's right okay ryan you are uh, you have all three repeats and your challenge still in are you ready for the first <sighs> question in your strength category 90s comic book movies i'm gonna do my best let's do it who plays piano player 88 keys in dick tracy i just rewatched this movie mandy patinkin for two points Love that question. Dude, yes. <laughs> 88 keys, baby. I just rewatched that movie. Awesome. All right. Your second category is, or your second question is <laughs> what is the profession of Karen Johnson in Blade? She's a hematologist. Works with blood. Doctor. Works with blood and stuff. For two points, yeah, I Doctors believe that is. I believe that's form. very specifically correct. Yes, it is. Yeah, I think she's. I think it's said in the movie too, but yeah. I don't want to. You know. All right, question number three. You're working through your own category pretty good here. In steel, what kind of product is being distributed out a front as a front by the underground arms distributors? Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to have to go multiple choice on that one, please. Okay. Your multiple choice options are A, BMX bikes, B, soda, C, arcade game, or D, cars. Uh, is, it, is it possible I can hear the options one more time? or You can, yep. Yeah. Yeah. A, okay, BMX time. bikes, okay. B, soda. C, arcade game, or D, cars? I'm going to say arcade games. For one point. Jeez. Good pull, my friend. Ugh, I haven't seen that movie in a hot 20 minutes, man. Gee whiz. <laughs> and if you can answer this question, you will have gone through your category perfectly. Here's question number four. What was the name of the circus group that the penguin had once been a part of in Batman Returns. Oh man, what was the, the red triangle triangle gang? For two points. Wow, he did it. That's how you that's how you pick a string. That is absolutely great job, Ryan. Wow. Thank you, Joseph. Thank amazing, you, Joseph. amazing, that. amazing round for oh, Ryan. Gosh. But oh. Joseph is now ready for his spin. I have you on your pre-selected color. Oh, my gosh. Are you ready for your first spin, Joseph? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. 
Get out of there. Get out of there. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, hey, man. he lands on Ryan's color of Ooh. black. Ooh, so, Ryan, you get to pick the category. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Is it possible I can hear a repeat of what the options are on the wheel? Absolutely. They're in the yeah. they're in the private chat, actually. Or, yeah. Or oh, well. Okay. Yeah, I'll just give them to you really quick again. Yes. Action adventure. Sean Penn. Movies set in college. These hallowed halls. 1989 films. Previously on deep cuts. Scores and soundtracks. Sports. Robert Zemeckis. It's a doggone category. Movies about dogs. Classics. Oscar winners, which is Joseph Strength, and unfortunately, you can't pick yours. You could give him Oscar winner. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'd love to know. do that. I know, right? I don't know if I want to be too <laughs> generous on this evening's broadcast. I'm going to go with hmm, some good options there. But to be safe, I'm going to go with movies about dogs. Interesting. All right. All right. Movies about dogs. <sighs> I was cut. I was kind of hoping you'd let me read '80s movies, but that's okay. Well, I love I love those little uh, those little buddies of ours as well. So, <laughs> your first question in the category of dog on the dog on category, Joseph, is who plays the character Jenny in Marley and Me? Is it Jennifer Aniston? That is correct for two, two points. points. He didn't. He didn't get thrown off. <laughs> Good pull. All right. All right. Your second Thank question: you. What dog movie has a cast that includes Emma Stone, George Lopez, Judy Greer, and Owen Wilson? Five, four, three. I'm, I'm gonna go with it, Marmaduke. For two points. <laughs> what a she, point. the last pull. second. What is going on? Another good pull. All right, your third question, <laughs> Joseph. What kind of location do Roger and Anita meet in at in 101 Dalmatians? Uh, can you specify which version or? I, I don't have it right here, but I, I'm pretty sure I can say it's the animated version. Yeah, we got confirmation that it's the animated yes. version. Yes, yes. Five. Isn't four, it a park? For two points. Two more points. This category this doesn't seem to have thrown Joseph off. No, it doesn't. All right. Not. Your final question, Joseph. In the immortal classic Airbud, why is the team's original coach fired? Um, can I go multiple choice, please, for this? Absolutely. One? Your multiple choice options are A, showing up to a game drunk, B, attempting to sell drugs to a student, C, hitting a player with basketballs. Or D, his teaching degree is found to be fake. Some great options. <laughs> is it C? For one point. One point. Oh and my we are God. right where we were before. We are one team. One point game. Absolutely. We are going to take a short break while we tabulate the scores, but it is absolutely, even though Ryan had a great round two, Joseph had a great round two as well, and we are one point uh, up for Joseph. We'll be right back. All right, and we're back, and after a quick score calculation, we are exactly where Jeremy said we are. We are one point differential between these two. Joseph coming in with a, a monster monster round two after being given a category hitting of course hitting black ryan's strength uh, ryan's color uh but ryan was no slouch in his either and if anybody can answer those questions as fast as ryan did i would love to see it so uh we have a score of 13 to 12 favoring joseph so ryan you're gonna start answering your questions first but first jeremy's gonna read the rules 
All right, guys, round three. There will be one, one question worth two points, two questions worth four points each. There is no multiple choice available, but also no stealing. A wheel will be spun to determine the movie for each question. Players will have the option to respin only one time in round three, so choose wisely. If a movie has no questions remaining for a respective point value and a player lands on it, they will get a technical respin. The player behind will start answering questions first. Once that player ties or moves ahead of their opponent, the other player will get their first question. Each player will go back and forth answering their questions until a player is mathematically eliminated. Good luck, awesome. guys. And their pre-selected movies that the player or the players have been given beforehand to study a little bit are Everybody Wants Some, Friday, The Journey of Natty Gan, Megamind, The Umbrellas of Cheerboro, Euro Trip, The Perks of Being a Wallflower, and The Road to El Dorado. Ryan, I, you're I love you with those French pronunciations, Andy. I can listen to it all day. <laughs> Ryan, are you ready? Yes, sir. Let's do it. All right. Ryan's official first spin is in. <laughs> what is the road to El Dorado? <sighs> the road to El Dorado. I will take it. Okay. Would you like me to read for Ryan? Or? Yeah, let's do that. All right. Okay. All right. Your two-point question in the road to El Dorado, Ryan, is which actor voices the character Chief Tani? Edward James Olmos. For two, two points. points and the lead. <laughs> okay, so we're going to bounce. I was in that movie until I was <laughs> reviewing this. All right, so we're going to move over to Joseph for his two-point question. Joseph, are you ready for your first spin? Yep. <clears throat> and the spin is spinning. It's going clockwise. Oh, yeah, come on. Oh, everybody wants some. I don't want to respin on a two, so let's take it. All let's... right. Okay. All right. So let's go up to. Okay, it was the first one. First uh, one. Okay. All right. <laughs> Joseph, your question, your two point question, and everybody wants some is who played Finn? Glenn Powell. For two points. We have a heck of a game here, guys. We do. That's right. I left the left for a while and I came back on the right match, I'll tell you. Jeez. Good <laughs> pull, Absolutely. Joseph. And we're going to bounce right back over to Ryan. Ryan, you don't have any restrictions in your spin. You can get any movie on the board. Are you ready for your second spin? Yes, I am. And it's going around. It's going around. Oh. <laughs> the Euro trip. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, oh boy oh boy I study I, I studied for this match so I hope it pays off let's take it let's just go for it all right, all right. let's go for it just go I'm sorry I'm assuming uh, we read these in order Sandy I haven't yeah. done this format okay yeah all right, Ryan, your four point question in the film Euro Trip is yeah. Scotty gets in a fight with a street performer while waiting in line for what European tourist attraction? The Louvre. For wow. Four points. <laughs> Such confidence, too. Nice. Oh, my God. Wow. All right. All right. Great one, Ryan. Thank you, guys, Joseph. You guys I appreciate getting... that. Guys, you're getting a show now. All right. So the only oh, one man. that you can't get, uh, Joseph, is Euro Trip in this Ten one. I yeah, I think he can because there's two four pointers. So 
Don't they can't they just do the other one or? Did, I don't know. I yeah. Guess so Andrew okay, no. Up. Technically, I yes. guess you can. Yes. So that, yeah. that's correct. So all right, uh, are you ready for your second spin? Yep. All right. Okay. Wow. I mean, if you want to take off your trip for me so I can't spin it, that'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Uh, going, 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 going. Oh, yes. um, Umbrellas of chair, bro. Uh, Ooh, man. Dude, if you had to go through Euro trip, oh, boy. <laughs> man. It's up to you. I will take I... it, please. You're going to take it? Yes, please. All right. All right. All right. Oh, boy. All right, Joseph, your first four-point question in the Umbrellas of Cherboro. What show are Guy and Genevieve seen at the theater? Carmen. <sighs> Four points! <laughs> Dang, man. Wow. These Good guys pull. just are not missing tonight. This Good. fun fact. Match. I've been to wow. that opera and I slept. Sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, it was a long day for me. So anyway. Good pull. All right. Man. Good pull. Thank you. Okay, so right yeah. now, Joseph has a one point lead. Ryan, this is your final four point question. If you hit it, it goes back to Joseph. If right. you miss, Joseph wins the game. Okay. You still have all I believe three he, yeah, he has all his repeats. So. All, yep. Everybody does. No repeats yeah. have been used this entire match. And okay. you do have your challenge as well. Are you ready for your third spin in round three? Yes, sir. And here it goes. It's going to stop somewhere. Come Nobody on, knows. Come on. come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. The road to El Dorado. Oh, man. Hmm. Big mm. choice here. Big choice. Mm. I am going to risk it all. I'm going to spin again. Okay. Here we go. Oh, you got to be kidding. Oh man, the oh, umbrellas no. of no. Carborough. Mm. All right. Mm. All right, Ryan. Your four point question in the film The Umbrellas of Cherbourg. What is part two of the film titled? Five, four, three. Repeat the question. All right. All right. In Umbrellas of Cherbourg, what is part two of the film titled? Five. Repeat the question. All right. What is part two of the film titled in the Umbrellas of Choice? Gentlemen, it's been a great night. It's been a great match. And I am going to get, I hope to get that title one day, but unfortunately I don't think it's going to be, I'm not going to be moving that one step closer to getting a shot at the title. So I'm just going to say Chateau de France. And your winner. And Joseph, Ryan, I mean, Ryan, great match, guys. Algorithm, Olivas. The answer may you're I, looking for. May I say this, please? Yes, you yeah. can. Yes. Andrew, thank you for making me watch this movie. It's it's The Absence. That is that correct, is, Andrew. The Absence the is, the, is, is the right. title. <sighs> oh, man. That was a heck of a match. It was we a tremendous gonna, match. Yeah. Tremendous match. We are going to talk to our unfortunate second place winner first right now. Ryan, I have seen you play. I've seen you be bad. I've seen you be good. Today, you were awesome. Great. I know it hurts that you're out of the tournament, but man, oh man, anybody that's going to watch your last two matches 
is not going to sleep on you ever. You have really, really shown a great amount of growth this time. You know, this time. What did you think about your overall performance? Uh, um, I, I, you know, as far as performance wise, I think I did uh, do an excellent job. Um, you know, for a guy who took the latter half of 2019 off to reassess his life and reassess his goals with uh, regards to movie trivia competition and then to come into this tournament to get the invite to be a part of this tournament. And then I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people thought, oh, this guy is nothing. There's no way he's going to get through round one. He's he, he, he was here for two minutes and then he left to take some time off. Now he's back. What's he doing? But I came back. I won that match. It was a great match between Brandon and I. Brandon, thank you for giving me a heck of a match that night. This was no exception. Joseph, you played great. You played a great match. You're a great competitor. If Mount, if the Mount Rushmore of family competitors was going to be built tomorrow, I would put your name or your your likeness on Mount Rushmore. There's no question about it. You're a future champion. You're a future Hall of Famer. You already got one belt around your waist. That's yeah. great. So, you know, you really got nothing left to prove. You got no one to prove anything to, but you've done well up to this point. You're going to excel whatever you do next. Um, my performance was great, but um, I regret not sticking with the four-pointer on Road to El Dorado because I wanted the wheel to land on another film or a few other films I would have felt more comfortable with. But then again, Road to El Dorado, I did pretty well with my studying on that. I probably I should have stuck with it because uh, risking it on the second spin is always risky. It's always a risk. You never know what you're going to end up with. I was hoping for Natty Gan, Perks of Being a Wallflower, maybe even Hero Trip again, despite my <laughs> not so uh, favorable review I would give of that movie. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, hey, uh, great match. Uh, I'm very curious. Maybe later on I can find out potentially what that four-point question would have been because, man, that was... I should have stuck with it. That's that. I'm going to be kicking myself on that for a long time, and I'm also going to be kicking myself for a little bit anyway. Missing the uh, cartoonist question in round one, I thought it was a little bit more comedic. I thought it was Wag the Dog, but one of my first thoughts was perhaps Zodiac. But look, this was great. I want to thank all the people who invited me to come back here and to be a part of this match, to be a part of these tournaments. I appreciate it. I really do. And. This match was just phenomenal. It, 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 it was so close. It was so close. It could have been anybody's game tonight. But, Joseph, it was your game. You won. You're going to move one step closer to getting a shot at that singles belt. And I wish you the best of luck. And, hey, you graduated from college. You're an adult now, man. Welcome to the adult <laughs> world, Sonny Jim. So congratulations on that. Basically, the big word congratulations is going to be spread all around your social media. And it's going to be the number one thing trending on Twitter tomorrow morning. So get ready for that. But, well, guys, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. And I look forward to coming back once this tournament wraps up. Because, as Arnold says in every single one of his movies, I will be back. And I just want to say something real quick. You know, I've been watching you for a long time, Ryan. You know, you've been out here slugging it out for years in these leagues. And I think watching your performance tonight, I'm going to pay you what I hope is a great compliment uh, based on your performance. If I were to play this game again, I would be afraid to face you based on that performance. So don't take anything negative away from uh, what happened here tonight. I'm, I'm so impressed with how far you've come, my friend. Thank you. Awesome. I appreciate that. Ryan, it's been a pleasure. We're going to say goodbye now, but not forever. You would definitely be part of the regular season when this tournament concludes. Thanks for playing here, and good luck in the future. Thank you. All right, we're going to bring in our victorious winner who is going to be moving on to round three, and he is, of course, one half of the tag champions, full metal tag champions, Joseph Olivas. Joseph <laughs> You, you know, you played a great match. You came from behind to get the lead in round number one. And then you you, you got, unfortunately, a, a category thrown at you, but you <laughs> killed it. You just, you just smushed it and, and re re retained your lead. Um, and then all you had to do was, you know, wait for Ryan to miss a question. And, uh, you know, as soon as that happened, you had the lead. So uh, how do you over, how do you think of your overall performance today? And what are you looking forward to? Um, first of all, thank you very much, Ryan, for those kind words. They were very great. They, thank you very much for that. Um, for my overall performance, I, I feel pretty great about it, except for round one. Just uh, Ford versus Ferrari is is in my <laughs> of the best picture nominees that I've seen from this re most recent Oscar ceremony. That movie's in my top three so far. Uh, that hurts. That hurts missing that one. But thankfully, I was able to pick it up in, in later that round. 
Ryan made me very nervous in round two, not only getting his strength category, but almost going, he went seven out of eight points in that quest, in that category. So with that category of dogs movies or dog on category, <laughs> dog on that category, dog on category. But, but on which, which made me kind of, yeah, it, he made, he made me kind he put pressure on me. It, I, after that performance, I knew if I wanted to put some more, if I wanted to stay competitive, I had to shoot high. There were some, I, the, the, that, that Marmaduke question in particular, I had to be like, I'm pretty sure you need some points because, geez, he, Ryan is the kind of guy who's, who's demanding it. Exactly what Jeremy said. He's very motivated. He's very determined. Props to uh, doing whatever he needed to do for the second half of 2019. I also took a break of 20 in the second half of 2019 from singles competition. So I totally get it. But yeah, him being back and giving this much of a, Demanding performance from me is exactly what I need for this tournament, and I thank him very much for that. Because I'm gonna be needing it whenever I face either you, you <laughs> sir, or Corey. Well, and that's the, so, the next question that I was gonna ask. You know, you you made it into round three, and in your bracket, uh, it'll be either me or uh, Corey Quinto. Um, do you have a favorite of who you'd like to play, or uh, you just want to keep silent at this point? <laughs> If I have a preference, and please take no offense at this, Sandy, Corey, I faced in Full Metal Classic earlier this year, yeah, and he beat me. So I kind of want to rematch on it. But if you beat him, but if you beat him, thank you in advance because then I can defeat the guy who defeated me in Classic earlier this year. So <laughs> I, I, we'll see I, how that I, goes. I'm looking forward to see whoever I get to play. Me too, actually. So, uh, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you played great. You know, we're always happy to have you on here. You know, you you and Brian Michaels have represented it, uh, represented it Full Metal uh, Trivia, the tag division, exceptionally well, and we really, really want to thank you for that. Um, but we'll see who you're going to face in round number three uh, later on. Um, but as for now, thanks again. And uh, yeah. since I since I said something nice to Ryan, I have to say it to Joseph too. Uh, you're you were one of my favorite competitors to compete against. You know, back back in the days, whether it be singles or teams, I think you're like Ryan said, one of the greats. And good luck to you going forward in this uh, in this tournament. It was an honor to get to see you play again. Well, I was your favorite one in sing in singles because you KO'd me. No, I'm no. kidding. Thank you very much. No, thank you. Beat me, right. thank you. beat me in teams. Beat me in teams. No. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you. <laughs> well, all right, guys. You know what? We're going to get a final few thoughts on this match from Jeremy, his triumphant return to the hosting chair in full metal. How did you feel about that match, man? If you felt anything like me, you're almost exhausted from it. Yeah, it was tremendous. It was a great match to come back to. Um, and I just, you know, having kind of stepped away, and I'm just, like I said, kind of tipping, dipping my toes back here, I just have to really – give such props to you know full metal and to the question writers andrew Barr, and everybody there they're they're doing incredible work and you know that you know i can only give respect to how they've taken the mantle and the, the the level of work that they're doing there especially you know seeing a strength category like 90s you know it's it's strange because I'm back riding with the Schmodown when we don't get to write these kind of odd categories. So getting to see them having to write those types of categories again, is, it really gives me a chuckle seeing that, you know? So uh, yeah, it's, it's cool to be back and see the, the great work you guys are doing. And wow, you know, what a match to come into to come into round two here and see two guys, like I said at the beginning that, you know, I've known for so long and have such respect for play at the absolute top of their abilities. It's, it's, it's a real treat. Absolutely. I mean, if you were going to come back to any match, this was the one to come back to because it's it's been one of the most fantastic throughout all the entire tournament so far. Uh, but you know what? We're going to say good night uh, for this uh, match, this singles tournament match and our race to the championship. 
Thank you guys so much for watching, commenting, liking, doing whatever you guys need to do, sharing this uh, th these videos to everybody else. Uh, I also would like to thank our writing team uh, headed by Andrew James Barr. I want to thank our editing team. I want to thank all of the people that support us in the back. Um, everybody's doing a fantastic job. And to you, the fans, again, thank you so much. Until next time, have fun. Watch movies.